Hip openers, what not to do. Don't get your feet too close together, otherwise your hips won't be able to rotate nicely. Get your feet just past shoulder width apart and allow your knees to fall side to side. This will get more rotation through the hips and make the exercise effective at loosening up the hips. Hip flexor stretch. This will be a wave for the stretch. It's warming up the hips. So when you go forward, keep the chest up. When you get to the point where you cannot go forward anymore, you get that nice stretch in the hip flexor, then you're going to break the wave and come back. Get your arm up. You can reach forward, break the wave, come back. Once you do a few of those waves, you're going to do a hip flexor stretch. Squeeze the abs and the glutes on the trailing leg. You're going to feel a nice stretch coming from the knee all the way up through the hips. And you can lean away and get different angles of the hip flexors. Repeat on the other side. Start with the hip wave. Breathe in. Exhale when you come back. Arm up. Breathe in when you come up. Exhale when you go through the stretch. Again, abs tight, glutes tight on the trailing leg. Feel that stretch all the way from the knee up through the hips. Get a couple different angles there, different fibers of the muscles. 90-90 stretch. Chest up high, then tilt your upper body forward. You're going to scan side to side, get different angles of those glute fibers. Then you go to the side as far as you can, feel that torque through the body. You should feel the stretch from the knee all throughout the front of your thigh into the side of your body, lats into your arm, and give it a few waves before you switch sides and repeat on the other side. Again, chest tall, tilt over the front of your leg, scan side to side, get different fibers of those glute muscles, and then twist all the way as far as you can. Get that torque. Feel the stretch from your knee through the whole side of your body. Breathe in, reach, and breathe out. 